Hello everyone, this is King and welcome back to my video. Today I'll be showing you where to find Igna Rejuvenators and Igna Weapon. Now Xenoblade 3 is still a relatively new game, so searching for monster locations, collectible locations, or even where to get materials can still be difficult if not impossible. So hopefully you'll find this video helpful or informative. I'll try to keep it spoiler free, but be warned, there might be unintended spoilers, so be mindful and proceed at your own risk. Feel free to leave a comment on what other Xenoblade 3 videos you'd like to see as well. Also, if you know any other locations where you can find these mobs, please share. And be sure to follow me for other Xenoblade 3 related content or check out my Let's Play, which is included in the description below. Now let's continue. For Igna Rejuvenaries and Weapons, they can be found relatively easy. Um, I do have a build that's post chapter 7, and you can probably find Ignas as soon as chapter 2 or 3 right where you found the Turkins or you know uh, in the Fornis region so I'll say chapter 2 in the Fornis region right as you do as you, you meet the leader of Colony 30 so he should be right there should be right there I, I want to let anyone know who's not that far ahead yet I'm in chapter 7 right now and I forgot to to de my my post chapter 7 build so um, unfortunately I typically just go right ahead in the video but I forgot and to save some of those who, of you who uh, have not gone that far yet I want to at least give you the opportunity to click away but I'll, I will tell you where to find it at least you go to the forest region it's um, from colony 30 you head west and then south it's right there where you had to climb up through the vines they're all in um, the the Ignas and Turkins so for some reason sometimes during certain parts of the day, I only see Turkins fighting against Turkins, but typically it's supposed to be Turkins fighting against Ignas. So you'll see like Ignas in there. It's in where the, the vines are. They're level, I don't really recall, but you can definitely find Ignas there as well. They don't, they're not roaming, they're only in the skirmishes. So if you want to go look there, that's the, that they can be found there as well. The Ignas here are level 42. If you don't want to see me do the process I'll, I'll just let you know it's where colony iota is so if you go north from colony 9 i believe it's colony 9 or is it colony 4 it's colony 4 once you go north and then west from colony 4 you're gonna take no 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 you use the yeah it is it is south it is the north entrance so you go north then you head south actually i can just show you on the map because that's not spoiler i can I, I think I can hide it well enough. It's my class build that's potential spoilers for some, so I don't want to want to be a little mindful of that. So I can do here and quickly go to my map. Okay, so from Colony Four here, you go north, all the way north, and then you go west. So from the Sing Breeds Funnel, you just go all the way here, go down, and if you keep going down. I believe colony iota is right here. I haven't completed it yet, but you can see how like it's an outline of a colony. I think it's iota. Yeah, it is iota. Thank God. <laughs> I'm saying the wrong name. But you go here, and in this tunnel right here is a bunch of ignas. Like they basically swarm with ignas. And this guy is right here is the um, the the Lanius igna. So wait, wait. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna do the fight now so I'm just quickly do the fight if you guys want to click away you can but I'll, I'll show you how it is this is what this guy looks like this these are what Ignas look like and typically you find him at the very end right here they're like lizard men so don't that's exactly what they look like and all the prefix doesn't matter they all drop the same material so if it's like villainous Igna sword swordman Igna spearman Igna whatever Igna they all drop the same thing so you don't have to worry about that in that that regards for the ignas they can be whatever rank class level you want like for example it can be a trash mob igna it can be a elite igna it can be a unique monster igna in this case this unique monster actually has igna in his name typically unique monsters don't they have like a very special unique name of their own but if they are the same species they will drop the same materials like for example if you see a trash mob igna who looks like this guy here but maybe smaller or he has a different weapon like a bow or something like that as long as he's the same species like the lizardmen then he'll drop the same thing which is like the weapons and the rejuvenators right so for example um 
there is an Igna that's riding a Rhinon. For some weird reason, sometimes you get Igna accessories and sometimes you get Rhinon accessories. It's just super weird. But um, it's also another place you can farm Rhinons because you don't really get access to Rhinons into maybe Colony, I believe, Iota as well. Yeah, like at the entrance of Iota, there's a bunch of uh, Rhinons at the entrance, so you can go fight them there. But back to Ignas. They all drop the same things. They all have a chance of dropping the same materials they can have a chance to drop. The common, rare, and legendary materials. The unique monster Ignas have a. They do have a higher chance of dropping unique, unique materials, and they have a lot more HP, so you can burst them. See, like here, I got a bunch of Igna weapons, a bunch of Igna rejuvenators. But now, and I haven't even killed them yet. So if once I kill them, I'll get more accessories. Like there you go, he's dead. 371,000. It's like the monk is so broken. And then there you go, all this stuff. But all right here, there's a bunch of Ignas here. I killed some of them. There's gonna be. One standing in each of the little rest area here, just like the same. It's basically just like Turkins, the UM for the Turkins. If you go watch my videos on how to find the Turkin accessories, the Turkin powder and stuff, it's basically the same things. Like Ignis and Turkins have a weird rival with each other, but this whole entire hallway here is nothing but Ignis. I don't know when you can get access to it, but you eventually get access to where you can cross through here and come. To this location here if you can't get there yet you can always come here which is the place i was referencing earlier which is the lc spout so all around here like up and around magla lake there there's ignas at the at the top of it so here you're going to find a bunch of kapipas brogs and then some ignas over here typically sometimes i see ignas and turkins fighting and sometimes i see turkins and turkins fighting i think maybe because it's like dealing with the weather or the time of day so you might want to try that out or maybe you want to go from one region and come back but if you want to come here in this location this is guaranteed igna igna spawns so that is going to be it for my video today folks i don't want to stretch that out too long thank you so much for watching let me know what other xenoblade 3 videos you'd like to see as well and be sure to follow me for other xenoblade 3 content i do post daily and i'll see you all in the next one